Oh, this burns so bad. Zero. Failure can be embarrassing because you have this persona that you have to present in front of people. See, you got two paths you can take. That path is rough, that path has some steps. We're going the rough path. It is another weekend barefoot running people. We are out here in Chino or Diamond Bar, I guess. I don't know the city. We'll find out what it is in the description. But we are out here at Summit Ridge Trail. Um, just some place in the middle of the city. I just have a lot going on in my mind, a lot going on in life. Just kind of want to run someplace simple and just talk. So just want you to come along with me today. I'll be running by myself. I just need some time to think and reflect. So come along with me as we take this challenge together, as we go running in Summit Ridge Trail, and we talk about fostering failure. Running by the Nature Center over here, by Summit Ridge Trail. Out here by myself. All these small skippity paps out here. This is the morning that I didn't feel like coming out here. It's the morning that I just was not going to do this. But we're out here anyway. You know, having a life of being fit, a lot of times you have those mornings where you don't feel like coming to work out and do anything. You just, it feels so comfortable just to sit there in the bed and not do anything. So the first step is you got to get up, get out and do it. That's one of those statements I used to say in some of my old videos. Yeah, so I didn't want to do this this morning, but here we are anyway. I was very cool very close to just saying, you know what, I think this will just be a morning where I won't do a vlog, I'll just sit here. But I know, come the middle of the day, I would have not felt very good because I did not take this opportunity to come out here and do what I've always committed myself to do, which is take care of myself. So we're out here. Here we go. That's the first step is to go down this, these stairs, goes off down there. Oh, man, I didn't feel like coming out here this morning. I really didn't. Mm. Here we are. All these little trails, they loop out here, look like little ant trails ah. so we're going to come out here this morning and we're going to start talking about failure how do you foster failure let's talk about that a lot of things been going on 
in my life. <sighs> yeah, been out of the military for about a good two months right now. And as they said, it's not easy out there. And I got a good old dose, a full plate of what failure tastes like. I mean, I got it with all the little shrimp around the plate. It's like a cocktail. Got the candle in the middle. Oh, it's just difficult. But they really have to teach me to foster failure. So I'm very thankful that I was able to do some of these running videos to teach me then the art of endurance and not quitting. Even though sometimes in the middle you want to give up. You just can't. You just can't. I always reference that video, What the Hill. That was very hard. That taught me not to give up. And life is going to get hard, but this is hard. What does winning teach you? What does winning teach you? Winning teaches you that good feeling of success. And I am great. Makes you feel really good about yourself, right? But what does failure teach you? How do you foster failure? Failure teaches you how to get even stronger. Because when you fail, you know that there's something in you that needs to develop and get even better. If you are always winning, you're kind of stuck in that factor, I'm a winner and I gotta hold that space of being this winner. But when you fail, you know that there's something I need to develop on and work on. Failure is always pushing you even harder because now you have something to reach for. So the object is to not say, hey, I'm gonna practice on being a failure today. But just taking, if you do not succeed at something that you were trying to do, take that moment and say, hey, this is an opportunity for me to develop something to get stronger. Failure is like a, it's like being in this fish tank. Failure shakes your life up. And then all that stuff that's in the bottom of the rocks on the bottom of the tank comes up. And you know, hey, this is not as clean as it looked. This, this life of mine is not as clean as it looked. There's still some stuff in there that I can work on getting out. I hope I don't get lost out here. Ooh. Out here, this trail looks like it just snakes all over the place. It's just snakes, and snakes. So I hope I do not get turned around out here. So yeah, failure shakes things up in your life. I've been looking for employment. Everybody says that I'm not qualified. Everybody's saying that. You don't have enough experience, but the problem is, you gotta find somebody to give me the experience, right? But nobody's willing to give me the experience to have the experience that they're looking for. Oh, that was nice. Oh, up a hill. Yeah, so I guess I'm kinda, to be honest, I'm, I'm a little depressed. I'm gonna be honest. I am a little depressed. So that is why I did not want to come out here and do this. I kinda wanted to just sit in the dark and wallow in the fact that nobody wants me, that I'm not good enough to do anything, I have no experience. Thinking about all the negative things that are wrong, that I'm not doing, that I can't do. But I said, nah, this is probably the best therapy for me to be out here and just running. <laughs> Knowing how to foster failure, not giving up. 
This will remind me not to quit. Up these stairs, miles of sticker bushes. It's like life here. The sticker bushes on each side. Everything's pointed. It's not safe. So you gotta stay on the path. Don't veer off. Stay on the path. Oh. Each step. As you go up, it gets you closer and closer to your goal. Even though every step gets harder and harder. Every failure is a step. Every failure is a roadblock that you need to hurdle over. And that roadblock is something to work your legs to make them stronger. Every step. Working through your pain. Failure. Failure is pain. You gotta keep working against it. Failure can be embarrassing because you have this persona that you have to present in front of people. See, so you got two paths you can take. That path is rough, that path has some steps. We're going the rough path. Well, why are you taking the rough path when the easy path is easier? Because it's got stairs and it's really nice and soft. Because the rough path makes you stronger. See all these rocks? Yeah. Ooh. And it's steeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, big old skippy paths. And then look. Here I'm. That rough path I came up, that was that easy path. So it just curves and you bypass all that stuff right there that makes you stronger. You can't bypass. Ooh, that's another skippity path. One point one miles. I would have bypassed that part of my life to make it easier. Sometimes we bypass things that we need to help condition us. Make us stronger. Yeah. Whew. Fostering failure. Gotta take it down this heel sideways so I don't slip and fall. Man, you bare feet? Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> oh. wow. Whew. Coming back up this hill is gonna be nasty because this is steep down here in the canyon now, all by myself, alone. <sighs> yeah, out of time to reflect. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to go back up that hill to go back to the start where the car is. Look at that little lizard right there. Steep hill coming up back there. Huh? I don't know. It's treacherous. Because I gotta turn around and go back up that steep hill. Huh? <laughs> you guys gonna go up that steep hill coming up back there? Is it real steep? Oh my god. I thought this was steep right here. Oh my god, this is nothing. Guys, I said I was gonna tell my friends I see a group of people coming here. I'm gonna turn around and go with you guys because it's an ugly hill coming back that way. You, oh, there's no cutout. There's no cutout. You're going straight up there. No, I think you guys can do it. I think you can do it because I'm gonna be there. Yeah, because I'm gonna be with you guys. I'm just gonna go to the bottom and I'm coming back. We're gonna do it together. You can do it. It's gonna be steep. Two miles. 53 minutes. There's that first little hill. 
that I met those ladies on. Oh god. And I don't think they turned around, so they're gonna head for it. Oh my god. Go to heel number two. This teaches intestinal fortitude. Here we go. Got that. Steve Hugh. Look at him. I knew I'd catch him. Yeah. Look at him. I knew I'd catch him. Oh, God. I can't walk because I, mean, I can't give up. I saw those elderly people come up here, too. They were walking. They didn't give up. This is that heel. This is it. This okay. is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not even the end. It's curves and go up some more. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. This is so hard. This is steep as only cuss words. We can't oh, describe no, this. Happened. We got to get this done. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Up this last part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, this burns so bad. Wow. Oh my god. Oh that burn. Good. Heading back to the car now. Back to the car. Oh my god, that was hard. I'm still winded. Two point seven miles. Okay. Okay. That's quite a stiff. Oh, come on. David, you have a message from sixty four thousand eighty eight to reach BJ. Miles for jobs. One hour. Check out the latest. Twenty one minutes. HTTP colon thirty seven D three dot video slash up big twenty seven minutes. Stop to cancel. Fifty seconds per. Mile. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Barefoot running people, family, faces of Dave. This is David Scoggins. We completed it. Went all the way out there, all off through those trails, came back, started this way, came back that way. Now we're back. Now we're going home to get some water. Remember, Foster your failure. Failure is your friend. Use it to make you stronger. Faces of Day family, this is Dave Scoggin. We are out of here. I'm getting the sweat out of my eyes. Have a great weekend.